Hey everyone, this is Crystal and welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's been a really long time since I've posted a makeup video. I mean, I just uh, posted a vlog last week. Last week, right? It was last week. I think so. Or last two weeks. Anyways, yeah, I was pretty busy with life and there's new chapters in my life. And yeah, I just got busy. <laughs> But anyways, Valentine's Day is coming up, so I am pretty excited. Well, I don't have a date because I am working, girl. But yeah, whatever. To all the lovers and the girls out there who are excited for Valentine's Day, well, this is the makeup I'm going to show you on how to do it for your date night. Or you can actually wear it on other night as well. But since it's Valentine's Day, I thought, you know, it'd be nice to have like a sweet girl look. So yeah, this is what I'm achieving. I did not put a lot of makeup because I think natural beauty is the best. Yeah, but um, yeah, that's about it. So... If you want to create this look, just keep watching! So first up, I'm gonna use this primer. Its name is Kovo and I've been using this for ages. I'm gonna take some of the product and apply it to all over my face. This is actually a very good Kovo uh, brand uh, primer because it brightens up your skin. It can be like a skin corrector. I absolutely love it. Finally, we're gonna do our eyebrows and I'm using M Pro. I'm sorry. Just draw according to your natural eyebrows because that's the most safest and yeah most safest thing to do. So just follow it and try to fill up all the sparse area. Try to give it a little arch as well but not too much. And then on the other side as well. I'll just use any spoolie to blend out the harsh edges of the eyebrow. I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion to keep. Just apply a little bit onto the eyelids and the bottom eyelids as well, up to the brow bone area. A little really goes a long way, so you don't need a lot for this. I'm gonna use this Naked Urban Decay on the Run palette and it has really great colors. So this is the color that I'm going to use for my lids. So now taking the Rose Gold Shadow and just applying onto the lids. Try to use packing motion because it's more pigmented and the color will show up even better. And you would like to also put it some on under the um, eye area, the bottom inner corner. Use the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette and this is one the first version. And I'm going to show you that the color I'm using. And the color I'm going to use is Naked 2 for my crease to blend it out. So I'm just using a blending fluffy brush to use the uh, Naked 2 color to just blend it over my crease I'm using the color faint this color over here in the outer crease and now using the color faint just focusing on the uh, outer corner crease and just blend it into the crease together with the naked two color I'm gonna use this shade which is a gray purplish color for my outer corner now I'm just putting this color on the outer corner. Next up is an eyeliner. This is Liquid Eyeliner by K Palette Real Lasting Eyeliner 24 One Day Tattoo. It's been my go-to eyeliner lately and I love it. Now I'm just going to draw like a middle eyeliner kind of length or thickness, I would say. 
not too thick but not too thin as well don't want to look like you are wearing nothing and maybe just flick it a little bit in the outer corner Now I'm just going to draw on the other eye as well. My This eye is double eyelid, so I have to be really careful while drawing this eye. Just so the color or the thickness might be a little different from the other eye. Oops, just made a mistake there. <laughs> but yeah, just cover that up and make a little wing. Sorry if my palette is kind of blocking. I'm just gonna use this uh, trusty old eyelash curler. I've been using it for ages. It's no brand, but it does a good job. For eyelashes, I'm gonna use the mascara, which is from Maybelline, the Rocket Volume Express. This is not waterproof, but it does a good job. What I like to do is always to comb it down on your lashes first before doing it up then it gives it more volume and precision now I'm using the Lanish BB cushion this one is in shade 21 which um, many people used it I'm just gonna dab some onto my face I'm not gonna use a lot of product just because I really don't like the feeling of having a lot of foundation or BB cream on my face so I know a lot of uh, youtubers always say use padding motion I do use padding motion as well but uh, I always like to slide it a little bit more on my face just to give it like a light um, coverage instead of like a very heavy one the fine one one blush and highlight so there's three colors and I love it because it's very useful and on the go just swipe this across your cheeks once you don't need a lot because this is really natural looking and all you do is gotta blend it out and you're done done and I'm gonna use the inner three no silver mineral pack now I'm just gonna pat this powder all over my face especially on my under eye area just to set all the BB cushion in lastly using this Kovo uh, lipstick which is called bubblegum pink I love this color and it looks gorgeous and I'm just gonna put some to make it natural color and there you have it this is the final look for the Valentine's Day date night look I hope you guys like it and enjoy it so you don't need much effort for this because it's very natural looking and yeah see you guys